with this AI tool, you can create a viral historical short videos for free without any editing skills. And as a matter of fact, that is what this particular channel is doing. With only 24 videos, they have gained over 300,000 subscribers, which is very, very massive, guys. And why you need to watch this video is that if you click on the link to their promotion page, they are offering you the editing skills and materials for 200,000. But I'm going to give you everything that you need for free so that you can create your own videos and start making a lot of money on YouTube and TikTok. So all I ask is that you like this video and let's get started. So the first thing we are going to need is a history or historical story. And to ensure authenticity, we don't actually need to craft this story by ourselves. So open your Google Chrome or any browser that you have, then search for the most common historical events. And you can continue with that of the United States. So all of these are histories that you can talk about. So just scroll down till you find any interesting topic. Now I found this one and I'll just go ahead and open it. Then scroll down. You can see this one right here is a good idea. And there are many of them on this particular page. So just pick any one that you like. And I will go with this first one. So I will highlight it and copy it. Now open a new tab on your browser and search for chargebt.com. Then go ahead and paste the text that we just copied. So on this place, we are going to play natural for ChatGPT to give us the best results. So we are not going to ask it to write a historical story with this. Instead, we are going to engage in a chat with it by asking it, are you aware of this information or this event? Now this will help ChatGPT to give us the original information and to maintain that information throughout this chat. So we are going to ask it again to explain the things that happened during this event. Now, all of these are different ideas you can make videos about. So the last thing we need to do is to ask ChatGPT to write a narrative article about it. And I'm very sure you can't wait to see the final results because all we need is just this script. And with this AI tool that I'm going to show you, it will handle every other thing for us, including the voiceover, the footage, the editing, and the captions. So let's go ahead and copy any of the narrated history. You can choose any of them, but I will go with this one that says World War I and changing perceptions. So I will highlight it and copy it. Now head over to this website, storyteller.motion.com and the link to sign up for free will be in the description. So once you sign up, you are going to get to this page. And all of these things are just inspirations if you are just starting out. But let's go ahead and create our video by clicking on generate from prompt. So this is how it looks like and on this place, you're going to paste the script we just copied from ChatGPT. Now on the aspect ratio, you're going to select the TikTok or YouTube short style, which is 9 by 16. Now click on tone, select the second one and on the style, select the second one, which is photorealistic. I think that's all for this page. So we're going to click on generate. Now the storyboard has been generated and there are about 14 scenes. So click on next. So on the title, you're going to leave it blank. And on the subtitle, I'm going to select this one. And on the scene effect, I will leave it on the shake motion. Now leave the transitions and come to the voiceover. Select the third one. You can choose other voices, but some of them are for premium accounts. And to avoid copyright strikes on your videos, don't use any of the audio on this website. So after that, you're going to click on Composite. And the good thing about this AI is that it also generates the title, the description, and the tags you can also include to optimize your videos. And finally guys, our video is ready. And we can choose to download the storyboard, the thumbnail, or the video. So let's download the video and see what it looks like. When World War I erupted in 1914, the suffrage movement got an unexpected shot in the arm. It wasn't a potion from a mystical fountain, but rather a hefty serving of reality pie. As armies of men vacated their office desks, the video is actually great, but let's make it more engaging by removing the silent parts of the video. 
as the scene changes to another, it seems to be some place that the audio is silent. So let's go and remove it. Now open CapCut or InShot Video Editor and click on Video. Then select our video. Now click on this watermark to remove it. Now if you're listening to it, you will observe a 5 seconds break as each scene changes to another. So it makes the video very dull and your viewers might end up losing their attention. So we are going to cut them out. Just locate the exact place. Then click on split. Go to the other end and click on split again. Now delete the small silent clip. Now do the same for other ones. Find a silent part, cut it out. So here is another one. Click on split, then go to the other end, click on split again. Now delete the silent clip. Now repeat the process for the remaining parts of the video. Now let's add some transitions to make the video more engaging. So click on the first clip, click on animation, you're going to choose in, out, combo, and loop, any one you like. But since I want the animation at the beginning of the clip, so I will choose the in, then slide through the options. You're going to select shake in. So do the same for the second clip. Click on the second clip, click on animation, scroll and find shake in animation. Then repeat this animation for the remaining clips. Now let's add music to the background and to avoid copyright, I would advise you to use only music and sounds from YouTube audio library. And I will leave some of them in the description. So you're going to click on the audio, click on music, click on my music, then select the music that you want to add and click on use. Now click on the volume and reduce it to 10. Now to ensure the quality of our video, we are going to click on the filter, click on the adjust, then scroll till you find sharpen. Then increase it to 70. And the last thing we need to do before we see the final results is to add a snow effect. So we're going to go to YouTube and search for snowfall overlay. Now click on this place. You click on share. Then copy the URL and go to this website, ssyoutube.com. Now paste the URL right here and download the video. Now go back to our project, click on PIP and select the overlay video. Now scale it up and place it downwards. Go to blend, choose lighting and reduce the opacity to 70. Now click copy, then select it on the screen and drag it upwards to fill the other parts. Now go to the end of the overlay video, select the one that is down, click on duplicate, repeat till you reach the end of the video and go to the one at the top, click on duplicate again and repeat this till the end of the video. And finally guys, it's time to see the masterpiece. When World War I erupted in 1914, the suffrage movement got an unexpected shot in the arm. It wasn't a potion from a mystical fountain, but rather a hefty serving of reality pie. As armies of men vacated their office desks, factory floors, and even left their positions as official boot scratchers, women stepped into those oversized shoes without so much as a buy or leave. They worked tirelessly in factories, managed offices, and even served in the armed forces, though the patriarchy drew the line at redecorating the trenches. This sudden showcase of women's capabilities did more than just grill a few chauvinistic burgers, it highlighted their essential contributions to society. Goodness, the men gasped, their monocles dropping into their morning coffee, women can actually do things. Meanwhile, President Woodrow Wilson, who was previously about as interested in women's suffrage as a cat is in a bath, began changing his tune. Women's tireless efforts during the war didn't just keep the country running, they turned Wilson into a believer. By George, they've earned it, he likely said, perhaps while dramatically tossing a quill across the room for effect. When Wilson eventually addressed Congress, his speech was practically a rousing halftime pep talk. 
He called on the legislators not just to consider the 19th Amendment, but to pass it hastily before his newfound appreciation for suffrage wore off. These women, he bellowed, have filled our factories, our offices. Why, they've even dealt with the infernal postal system without losing their sanity. Surely, they deserve their right to vote. Congress, probably thinking more about their re-election campaigns than gender equality, agreed. Thus, in a twist of irony, it took a world war to bring about peace for the suffrage movement. The 19th Amendment was passed, and women finally gained the right to vote, leaving men everywhere scratching their heads and wondering why it had taken them so long to realize that women were more than just expert pie bakers and professional fainting couch occupants.